today we are in Columbus, Ohio for the Ohio Pro Start competition. And we've got with us two students here today. And what we're going to do is talking about proper uniform for the Pro Start competition. We've picked out these two students because they are in proper uniform. And this, the purpose of this video is to go over the different components of the uniform and teach you as people who come to the Go Pro Start website how you can be successful in uniform. Would you like to introduce yourself and what school you're from? Hi, I'm uh, Anton Clauda and I represent Polaris Career Center. Thank you. Hi, my name is Brittany Jonas, and I also represent Polaris Career Center. What we're going to talk about with Ant Anton and Brittany here is we're going to be talking about from head to toe, okay? It starts with the hat. It ends up with the footwear, okay? And as we go through this, at the Pro Start competition at Nationals, most of you states that are out there are using our rules, and when you get to Nationals, you must use our rules. But we're going to talk about the different components starting out with the headwear here. At the National Pro Start competition, we issue headwear there, and they are the beanies. Here at this competition, they have on paper toques, which are more than more than proper. I think they're a nice-looking hat. The big thing with hats is, of course, that the hair is restrained. Okay, we don't want any hair falling down. That's the purpose. The, the hat makes you look professional, but it is also a safety issue and a sanitation issue. The hat is keeping the hair back. Okay, we don't have any loose hair falling down or anything like that, which brings us down now to the chef coat. For a Pro Star competition, and it reads in the rules, it must be a white chef coat. Okay? Both Anton and Brittany are in proper uniform with white chef coat. One of the things that is allowed, and you will see on here, that logos are allowed on the coats. We have over here logos of their school, and they, if they can kind of turn a little bit to the side, they have logos of their school, and they've got a nice Pro Start logo there on the, on the sleeve of the jacket as well. And by that Pro Start logo, you also see that they have their, they're ready for battle as they go out onto the floor and cook. They've got their, their, uh, their instant read thermometers there, and they have their pens because, you know, you might be taking temperature logs when you're out there on the floor during competition, and you don't want to have to be running back over to your toolbox to pull things out. They have the name of their school on there. They have their names on there. Their uniforms are clean, okay? It is a big thing to us that the uniforms be clean and pressed. They look very sharp before they go out onto the floor. Get to getting down to the apron at Nationals, we do issue aprons. They have their own aprons here, and they're nice because they have the Pro Start logo on there, and they also have another logo on here from the Restaurant Association, which I think is a very, very nice touch. The apron is worn properly, it's at the proper height, okay, and it's kind of rolled over and tied around in the back. So everything is proper with the apron. Let's go down to the footwear. In our Pro Start competition, right before we get to our feet, of course, what kind of pants do they have on? Today they have on black pants. Our rules state either black or check pants and nothing else. No pinstripes, no chili pepper pants, no anything like that. Executive chefs traditionally wear black pants. These folks both have on black pants, which are within the uniform guidelines. They also have uh, closed-toed shoes, and that's a big thing. We don't like to see any kind of athletic shoes on the floor that are out there because the purpose of a proper shoe is to protect your feet. So there you have it, folks. Uniforms are very important in a competition, and we hope that by watching this on GoPro Start, you can see how to properly dress and score those points right off the bat. I would like to thank Anton and Brittany. You guys are going to be cooking in a few minutes and going out there, and we wish you the best of luck. And we're going to hand it off now to Megan Meyer, who's going to talk about proper uniform for the management competition. Thanks for watching. Hi, I'm Megan Meyer with the National Restaurant Association. I'm here at the Ohio Pro Start Invitational, and we've got some great management students here today who have volunteered to demonstrate for you all the appropriate management uniform. Would you like to introduce yourselves? Yep. My name is Amanda Smith, and I'm from the Lorraine County Joint Vocational School, and I'm enrolled in the Culinary Arts Program. I'm Evan Crawford from the uh, Eastland Career Center, and I, too, am enrolled in, in the Culinary Arts Program. Wonderful. Thank you both for uh, volunteering to join us today to demonstrate the uniforms. As you'll see, Amanda looks clean, well put together. She's got her shirt tucked in. Her shirt is nice and ironed. She's got a skirt on. She's got appropriate restaurant footwear, clothing. It's all right if girls wear pants or if they wear skirts. And you'll see um, what we're looking for here overall is a very well put together professional appearance. Amanda's got her hair pulled back for us, which also demonstrates that she is not wearing any inappropriate jewelry. 
large dangly earrings that could potentially get into food and be a safety hazard. She opted not to include her name or her school's logo or name on her uniform shirt. That is perfectly acceptable. As you'll see, Evan did opt to include his name and his school's name, also acceptable. You may include um, your school's name, your school's logo, your state restaurant association logo. If you've got a sponsoring company that has supported you throughout the competition season, you are welcome to put their logo on your shirt as well. However, as much as we love the logos you're coming up with, your concepts, they're great, they're creative. Unfortunately, they are not allowed on your uniform. Only logos from your sponsoring organizations and your state restaurant association and your school. Moving back over to Evan, we'll see that he has got his shirt nicely tucked in, ironed, clean. His pants are ironed as well, and he's wearing great shoes for the restaurant industry. They're flat, they're black, and they are laced up. Um, he has also removed his tongue ring and his eyebrow ring for us today. And as you'll see, they're both in their black and their white uniform. They actually are not on the same team. They happen to both go with that. You are welcome to choose any color shirt and any color pant you'd like to wear for the competition, as long as everyone on the team does wear that same color shirt and the same color pants. Again, this is the model you should be looking for with your management uniforms. So they look wonderful um, and exactly how we hope all of you look when you go to compete at your state competition and come see us at nationals.